Welcome back. Today we will dive deeper into military factories with factor output and production efficiency and production efficiency cap. Uh, actually, I'm trying to make a USA economy guide, but uh, I'm both quite eager to make a good guide and I also have a really, really bad attention span. So with both this guide and the last one, this is just side quest uh, in my pursuit of making American economy guides great again. And on the sideline, we have Badger just laughing at me and he sent me this meme last week. So, yeah. So let's start out by looking how they compare with each other. And this time I can give you kind of a quick answer. Uh, you can always dive deeper and we will dive much deeper into this. But we will start by just looking at how much 1% extra production efficiency cap gives you compared to one extra factory output. And this depending on how much factory uh, production cap you already have. So let's start looking at the graphs. And here we have the first graph. The graph shows how much more it's worth to gain 1% production efficiency cap versus gaining 1% factory output. Uh, and as you see here, and it's dependent on how much production cap you already have. Since production cap is worth more when you're going from 50 to 51% than in the end by going from 99 to 100%. So if you see here, see here in the beginning, gaining one production efficiency cap is worth twice as much as gaining 1% factory output. So if you're in a choice, you need you can gain 5% production efficiency cap, that's worth as much as gaining 10% in factory output. But we have a lowering amount for each percent cap you have here, we're going down. So if you look here at 70s, uh, 67% production efficiency cap, uh, it's just worth 1.5 factor output. So 5 production efficiency cap would be worth as much as 7.5% factor output. And it goes down and in the end it's almost zero. They're worth quite almost as much. Uh, and two things you need to take away with this graph, uh, and we will address those two things in the next chapter, is that we only here look at gaining one production efficiency cap with max efficiency. And that takes time. It takes time to go from 50 to 51% efficiency for your factories. And that's not calculated into this one because it's going to be way too messy. So you need to have that in mind that this is... Uh, uh, giving you a more positive view of production efficiency cap from that perspective. The second thing is that in this model, we only go from 0 to 1% factory output. If you go from 50% factory output to 51% factory output, it would change this graph also. We'll look into that in the next chapter. So this is just going from... Uh, production efficiency cap and you will get have all the gains at once uh, contra gaining one factory output from zero uh, but with that said let's move on to the next chapter but that was the quick answer now we will dive deeper into this and add time to the equation so we can see uh, uh, how long it takes for an uh, increase in production efficiency cap to actually gain in on a factory output gain of the same amount uh, so we'll have two scenarios going from 50 to 60 percent in the factory cap and go from 80 to 90 percent in factory cap but we'll also check into the last thing i mentioned if you already have 30 percent factory output and you gain 10% extra. How does that uh, affect the graph? So let's dive into the next graph. And I just want to say that next week it's Badger's turn to release a guide. I will re I will release a guide on uh, consumer goods factories factor on this Thursday to our patrons. So please subscribe to the channel, like, give us a comment, everything that you do, and we will be really happy. And, uh, all, as always, a shout out to all our patrons. So this is a cumulative graph showing you when production cap goes from 50 to 60 percent compared to a gain of 10 percent factor output, taking into account the time it takes to actually go from 50 to 60 percent. So it starts out uh, low because nothing happens, nothing much at least the first days, and the production output, uh, production efficiency cap slowly gains on the factor output, and here somewhere we have 100 percent. Uh, they have produced equally as much and going on further we see that you have like a five six percent extra gain in total of equipment going with 10 percent extra production efficiency cap uh, and the break even point is somewhere here at 148 days uh, let's go over to the next uh, model 
So this time we have a production cap going from 80 to 90% compared to a gain of 10% in factory output. And as you see compared to the last graph, we have days down here again, it takes much longer. In 150 days we're at 98% and it takes us up to 250 days where 10% extra production cap is worth as much as 10% factor, factory output. And of course, uh, this is a game where you want things quickly. You don't want to wait way too long for uh, building things. It doesn't matter as much in this model. This is early game. There's no war, especially if you play historically. So waiting 150 days uh, for a game later on, uh, that's no problems at all. But going here, later stages of the game, waiting for 250 days might not be worth it. And now we'll look at the last scenario. Uh, it's the same thing. We go from 80% to 90% in production cap. Uh, but in this, uh, but this time we have 30% factory output for the production cap team. And we have 40%, 10% uh, extra factory output on the other side. And we compare now, we see that uh, factory output isn't as good anymore. It just takes 134 days uh, for production cap being better than factory output. And it also gains more, 3% extra long term. Uh, and in this model, just gaining a flat 10% factory output where the production cap team had none. Uh, it took 250 days. Uh, something like that, and it doesn't give as much, just a percent extra. And here we have production cap giving you 3% extra over a longer period of time. Uh, but that was all for today, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumb up, give us a comment if you think this was good or if, or if I'm way out there, and then I will answer you in the comment field. Uh, next time it's Badger's turn and I think we have the next live game somewhere in the end of February. So check out every news from our YouTube site and I will see you guys next time.